I didn't know of any woman that was doing it in Nigeria before I started, but it didn't stop me from saying that I'm not going to do it because no one is doing it. No female is doing it. My name is Intisar Bashur Kurufi. I am from Katsina State. I'm the founder of Ifrik Eco Solutions. I learned that plastics have negative effect on the environment, so which made me to tilt towards the sustainability in architecture part. That was how I started this. One of our newest products was um, the production of interlocking tiles from used plastics. As you can see, that's waste plastics. I'm just satisfied with what I do because I don't do things because everyone is doing it. I always try to do my things my own unique way. Plastic that is supposed to go to our water bodies, our animals are supposed to eat them, or you know, they will just litter the surrounding. It's being used into an, a long lasting product that, you know, when it is laid, you know, it's going to take like maybe 30 years. 50 years before you think of removing it or changing it. We get our raw materials mostly from scavengers. We buy this waste product from them. Also, we have some widows that we engaged to source for us um, during their market days. In, they live around Kabusa. During market days, they will go and pick them. Then afterwards, we come and measure, we weigh them and we buy Package. At the beginning, uh, we didn't receive any support. It was after we started, we have experimented, we have gone into the market. Um, after you know so many media coverage, that um, we got um, some grants from companies, some awards also from Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development. So many people are interested in the product, so many people want to buy the product, but um, that's why we are still trying to increase our capacity of production. Some of the challenges we had was the, you know, the capital to start because we needed some equipment that would help us to run smoothly, but it wasn't possible. But still we were determined to produce that way. And aside from the equipment, getting the raw materials, that's the waste plastic too, was a challenge for us. Because mostly during the raining season in Abuja, it rains almost every day. So this waste plastic is mostly wet and uh, we want it to be dry, to be dry and clean. Unfortunately, these waste are not sorted from, you know, where it is generated, that's from the markets, from homes. They are not being sorted. So, you know, you have to sort them, you have to dry them, at times you have to wash them. <music> 